Okay, so let's start working uh, to see how the the object snap tangent works. So I'm going to go in the setting, make sure that my tangent is on, and I will hit OK. So when I want to make a circle uh, tangent to both these circles, how would I do that? So again, that's where my object snap tangent helps me. So to do that, I'm going to start with a circle, hit enter, and the first point, before I go in the first point, I'm going to do TTR for tangent, tangent, radius, TTR, enter. Now to pick the first point or the tangent, different tangent, I have to pick somewhere on the circle, right? The first circle. Then my other circle is this one. And the third one, I could put in a radius as maybe 2 and hit enter. See what it did? It made a circle, a tangent from this point to this point, and the radius of 3. Now again, I have explained to you this before in my previous tutorial, where I show you how to uh, use the circle tool and how to put in circles with different tangents. Let's do another one over here. I'm going to call it a circle. Now instead of TT, so let's draw the other circle, but this time I'm going to use the tan 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 command. Okay, I click on that, click on a tangent anywhere, it doesn't matter, on this circle, on that circle, and the third circle. See, it was really easy working with the tan object snap and uh, making our circle with the tan for all these circles. Okay, so let's see where else we could use this settings now we have the extension on and the intersection on hit ok now intersection is right there you see that intersection symbol anything that meets two lines or a circle and a line uh, so you could use the intersection there but let's look into the extension like for instance if I want to make a line from here going at an extension of this point up to here now how would I do that start with the line I click on the start point I go over here I'm not clicking I just go move my mouse there now see what I'm doing I'm just going down so it makes a line from a certain point to a certain point wh where it's with respect to the extension of an existing line I could make a line from here till the extension of this end going all the way down so again that is helpful sometimes again it's up to you to use it um, so feel free to do that now let's go to uh, another uh, objects tracking sn uh, object snap tracking tool that I'm going to show you how to work with that now uh, what this tool does is basically uh, helps you track a certain point on the object like for instance if I have a rectangle and I would want to find the center of this rectangle. Now there are a couple ways of doing it, right? I could do one by just making a line from the midpoint to the midpoint and there, boom, I already have my center. Or I could do a line from here to there, here to there, and I find my center. Okay, but what this is doing is uh, taking two or three extra, stre uh, extra steps um, to do that and which I could use just by keeping my object snap tracking on now how would that work is I just make a line maybe starting from wherever it doesn't matter from, from here and I want to go to the center of this rectangle now all I have to do is go near the midpoint again I'm not clicking I just specify where my first midpoint is specify where my second midpoint is then I'm moving my cursor you see that it already gives me my center so that makes my uh, that is really helpful when you're working uh, with drawings and you really don't want to make extra construction lines so that you have to go delete them again so I would be using this tool called as the object snap tracking to work a lot more faster with my objects so Let's go see what this one is. Oh, this one says allow disallow dynamic UCS. We're not currently working on UCS right now, so we'll do that later on when the time comes. 
but I'm gonna show you the next one which is called as the dynamic input now with the dynamic input basically what it says is like when I'm trying a line or anything see it shows me the polar and it shows me the number so again that is part of the dynamic input but I'm gonna click on it basically turn it on and see what it does see it's showing me extra information where it shows me on the mouse where it shows me specify the first point okay it shows me the same thing over here in the command line but it's showing me right next to the mouse making it a lot more easier to read so I don't have to move my eyes all the way down here so uh, that's what the dynamic input does so I start with my first point see now it's even showing me the polar angle it's showing me uh, the distance that I want to go and I could input this that's why it's called as uh, as the dynamic input now how would I input this all I have to do is hit tab on my computer and see right now I could input uh, the angle so I could put in the angle as 45 and I could hit tab now the next input it went to is the distance I could put in distance as 5 and hit enter okay so I could keep going like this and all I'm using is my dynamic input where I can see on the screen the command I could see the angle and I could see the distance so again extremely efficient tool so I, I think you should learn how to use this tool all you have to do is make sure you keep it on so the next tool that we see over here is show and hide line weight now again line weight goes with respect to the layers see the different line weights over here sometimes you if you're working with the line weights you can go and turn it on and turn it off so you can view it in the screen itself so just go to the last one that we have over here is uh, the quick properties and uh, as the name says if it's turned on when I click on any object you see it gives me the properties of the object it gives me the color it gives me the layer number line type length you know and uh, I can see what's going on with that little object for instance I click the circle this time see? it's telling me the quick properties of the circle as in what layer it is in you see layer 0 uh, the center the Y okay I could go change it to 5 okay you see change the Y location even shows me the diameter and the circumference you can give the diameter as 5 and it shows me the area so it gives me the quick properties of wherever I click so um, it helps me find the areas and even modify uh, current objects there are okay so I think that's pretty much about your uh, toolbar over here and if you have any questions just feel free to ask me and you have to practice working with all these tools and get good at it. Okay, this is your tutor Ali and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.